This may be a little hard to believe, but football was not Reggie Wayne's first calling. As a kid, shortstop was his position until football finally got him when he got to high school and saw the bright lights and the passionate fan base that followed John Errett High School football. I think he's right, up, right on top. I think if there was a face for John Errett football, uh, the history of John Errett football, I think there would be a great argument that Reggie's, Reggie's face would, would, be on that, uh, would be on that program. Uh, he epitomized uh, a great young man, great Christian values, hard worker, and I was trying to think of something somewhat negative I could say about him, but I think I, I thought of more negative things about me than I could about him. Uh, it was a blessing for me to have had the opportunity to coach Reggie and meet his family. Well, I think Reggie, without a doubt, is probably one of the best half dozen players who has ever played in our area. Uh, just a tremendous athlete, a very smart player. The thing I remember about Reggie most is Every time I would interview him in the offseason, he would tell me about the Popeye's play of the week on Friday Night Football. And he wanted to be the Popeye's play of the week. And you know what? A lot of times he was the Popeye's play of the week because no one could guard him, especially in the red zone. So it's funny. You know, here's a guy who has won a Super Bowl ring, who has all kind of records, who has excelled in the NFL for a long, long time. And the thing that I remember about Reggie the most is that he remembers the Popeye's play of the week. Wayne chose Miami along with another future state Hall of Famer, Ed Reed, and the pair began to make a mark on the Hurricanes program. Wayne set a school record for catches as a freshman and caught 173 passes over his four years at the school. His days in Indianapolis proved him to be one of the best receivers in the NFL, with more than 1,000 catches and 82 touchdowns. He will take his place in the Colts Ring of Honor in November. Well, obviously I'm very proud of Reggie for being inducted into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. Uh, Reggie was a great teammate uh, for me with our years together with the Colts. Uh, I always felt a real connection with Reggie being from John Aaron High School being a Louisiana native and uh, always kind of felt a bond and a connection and I felt that kind of uh, uh, proved itself on the field. Uh, he was always reliable. Uh, Reggie Wayne answered the bell every single Sunday. He practiced every day, he played every Sunday, he was reliable and uh, accountable and uh, that's why we had such special timing I think is because we practiced together every day. We had so many repetitions so uh, you know he took a lot of pride uh, you know uh, as all those guys did that came from the University of Miami uh, being a tough receiver, uh, being fearless across the middle, and a very competitive guy. It was a real honor and privilege uh, to call Reggie Wayne a teammate. I was thinking that the next time I'm interviewed for a Hall of Fame uh, selection, uh, I know the next one will be for the NFL Hall of Fame in Canton, because I believe there's a place for Reggie there. Hardworking, blue collar guy who played 14 years for one team. What a hardworking, loyal guy who could have left the many, many times, and it just epitomizes the type of person and player that he was.